Many of us use elevators every day to move within a building. But have you ever thought about what elements are available for somebody who may have a disability? Let's talk about someone who's visually impaired. As we entered the elevator, there's the number one with a star next to it. And there's braille underneath that. The star indicates that's the main floor, and one tells them what floor they're on. We have the same elements over here on this, in our panel. We can choose what floor we're going to, and there's a braille under each number. So someone who's visually impaired can tell where they're going. Someone who has mobility impairments, these buttons are all within a certain reach range, so they can reach the buttons as they're in their wheelchair or using their walker. What about somebody who's hearing impaired? They wouldn't have heard that we just arrived on the third floor. So someone like myself who is hearing impaired, we're going to have the opportunity to either interact with emergency responder via text or some type of video system. So these changes are occurring in the 2018 International Building Code and they are improved within the 2021, giving the end user the choice of using the text or the video option.